In addition, the company is currently engaging Carile, that is the Caribbean Electric Utility Services Corporation, to provide support resources in the coming days. We should be getting line workers from countries such as Belize and Cayman who will help JPS to address the outage pockets that exist within the island. Power has been restored to all major hospitals and restoration to critical NWC sites uh, is approximately 81% complete as of July 16th. I'm pleased to report that power has been restored to approximately 49% of customers in St. Elizabeth. Key areas restored include sections of Black River, Junction, Alligator Pond, Santa Cruz, Silo, Lacovia, Eldersley, and Topil. The JPS has indicated that they are targeting the week ending August 10th for full restoration island-wide. We need to moderate the expectations of immediate return because there are some challenges that we need to account for when we are building out our expectation for the return of electricity. For example, if it rains, the linemen will not be able to work, so they may lose a day or two. There are poles in certain locations which are unsafe to treat with. So they may have to realign poles because of land slippage, broken, other broken infrastructure. That makes it more difficult 